108 yards to the flag. It's on the left side. My goal here is to just start it at the uh, center of the green and uh, draw it over a little bit and try and get it close. All right, didn't get my club face quite close on that. I'm on the green, closer to the center right, and uh, got up in the air and just didn't draw over quite enough, but we got a birdie putt. A little harder, a little harder that would have gone in. All right, so another par, let's move on. All right, we've got a 330 yard par four. Dog leg left around those, about 90 degree dog leg left. Uh, it's 200, 210 to the to a tree branch in the back, uh, probably 220, 230 to get into real trouble. So I'm going to hit uh, a little 21 degree and just try and get it around that corner. All right, it's a really bad shot. Um, we're still not around the corner. Uh, all right, after that really terrible tee shot, um, I got this tree behind me. I'm actually far enough back that I can go over it. I still have about 180 yards to the pin, um, which I don't think that would be a six iron, and my six iron's not gonna get over that. So I'm gonna hit an eight and just play it out to the right a little bit into the fairway, see how close we can get, and hopefully we can get up and down from there. I hit that exactly how I wanted to, but I also don't know how much that fairway cuts off, so we just gotta go up there, cross our fingers. All right, I have 48 yards to the hole. Uh, this is my third shot, so I need to get up and down from here. I need to be, I need to get this close. Uh, let's, let's try and flight it in there and uh, give it some spin and try and stop it right by the hole. All right, just got it a little bit long. I wanted it to end up, kind of goes uphill and then flattens out where the where the hole is. I wanted it to land into that bank, and I got it up on top. It landed up on top, so it rolled out into the uh, into the off off the green. We'll see what it is. Hopefully, I can still putt. All right, you saw how the greens are there. Um, the ball hit here and kicked off to the right and then hit there when I putted it. So we'll take that as a bogey and, uh, and move on. So these greens need a lot of help. Um, I like the course. The course is cool. It's back here in, these, in the trees and it's relaxing. As long as you let stuff like that go, um, then you can come out here and play. And this is where I basically learned to play golf. So I am very familiar with this golf course. And I am going to the next tee box, which is brand new and I have never seen before. They uh, added a new tee box to the next hole, which used to be 100 yards from the back tees. And now, looks like it's gonna be around 150, maybe? Uh, added quite a bit here, and it is a small green. This is going to be tough. This wasn't an easy hole at 100 yards because of the sloping green and and uh, and how small it is, and the tee box they've added. Well, let's see the uh, the blue tees used to be there, and now they are there. So that is. So that is going to make for a much longer, longer hole than what we played before. But hey, I like it. Let's uh, see how hard it is. We are now two over with two to go. Let's see if we can make a birdie or two. They're both par threes, not gonna be easy. Uh, see what we can do. And the ninth is pretty difficult.
All right, pretty good shot. It was 135 yards. I uh, hit the pitching wedge, and I think I'm about pin. Another one short. These greens are slow, but you know, this eighth hole should make up for that by now. So, all right, uh, another par there. Uh, still two over, one hope. Ninth hole, 125 to the flag. This worries me a little bit. I'm playing slight into just the lightest breeze. Um, and I don't want to be short. I'm hitting my gap wedge, 50 degree gap wedge. I should be able to get it there. Uh, another really narrow green, especially right there on the front, and uh, so let's see if we can get close. Ended up right on the front edge. I don't think it's quite on the green, which means there's no fringe out here, so I'll probably have to chip. Let's go see. Finished up at two over, uh, not bad. I have to say, um, I have fond memories of this place, but it's actually a lot better than what I remember. This course is great for practicing uh, accuracy, long irons, short irons. Uh, I didn't hit too many middle iron irons. Everything is either long off the tee or short. So I hit one eight iron and that was from because I had a bad shot, a bad tee shot, but it was basically practicing my four iron and then wedges. Uh, so with that, that's really great practice out here. Go in, dial in your distances, dial in your yardage. And uh, the greens, I have to say, were, were not very good. Um, and it's early summer, so you expect that in Kansas in late summer, but right now they should probably be a little bit better than what they are. So, uh, but two over and of course I haven't played in a long time I didn't play pretty well I like that this is it's a tricky course too so I'm happy with that all right leave comments like um, leave comments let me know what you think uh, about this course what you think about the courses around your neighborhood do you have some uh, you know 10 to 20 dollar nine hole courses that you can go out and play and uh, practice your game on really really uh, narrow it in get your distances in and things like that this, that's exactly what these courses are for they're perfect and they're a lot of fun